I've been in a lot of long-term relationships and they've never ended cleanly, <laughs> usually. No, no, I mean, yeah, some of them. Hey, this is Danny, AKA the Kite String Tangle, and this is what inspired Arcadia. It started in my bedroom and, and I, I generally always start with the production. So I had all these like little sound effects that I liked, little twinkly bits, and I, I like, I like putting stuff in that's, you, you kind of listen to it and you don't really know what it is. At that time in particular, I was really into using sort of textural stuff. Uh, I, I was listening to artists like Mount Kimby and like um, James Blake and Active Child. Uh, and a lot of, they, they use a lot of like weird textures and sounds that you don't, you know, it's not like a piano or this or that. There's a timpani in there, there's some steel drums, there's a lot of synths, and then there's just a lot of textures and stuff. So I was really happy with it. And then it came to like vocals and the lyrics and the melody. And that's generally where I tend to get a little, a little stuck. Arcadia. So the actual word Arcadia, I, I came to that because I was, I was literally searching for a cool word that meant um, like an, uh, an ideal place that was perhaps unattainable. I was thinking of it in the context of a relationship and having something that is better in your head than it is in reality, and, but in reality maybe it's time to, to leave it and it's kind of, um, kind of a reflection on that, that little part at the end of a relationship. The whole thing lyrically came together with the line you were sleeping in my shirt, Arcadia. In my mind, it was like, that was the whole song. That's what it was all about. You know, sleeping in my shirt, that's, that's something that everyone has experienced. They've done it, or they've had someone else do it, or they've seen it in a movie. It's something that immediately conjures something to the, to the mind. So I had played like a, a version of the track uh, before it was even fully finished. Um, on tours. Uh, uh, well, I guess I, at the time I probably thought it was finished, but it wasn't clearly. Uh, but that one was called um, Headlines, and the, the main lyric was the uh, pushed in front of the headlights, at least you made the headlines, which I thought was pretty savage. It was pretty cool, but it just ended up being uh, not the spiteful song that, <laughs> that it used to be. I, was distant, I, was I think you're always your own okay. worst critic, and being a solo artist, there's no sort of um, band members or whatever that you can sort of uh, bounce ideas off of. But I mean, I'm generally happy with the result. It just takes a lot longer to get there because you've got these things in the back of your head saying it's not good enough, or you've, you've set your own standard that is uh, maybe a little high or whatever. I really like this process of um, sort of laboring over something and then finishing it and then as soon as it's released it's kind of like I'm, I'm on to the next thing but then it can have its own life. People really connected with it and uh, would message me or tell me that they could relate to it through their own um, relationships or experiences or what, what have you and, and that's really powerful and it's really rewarding as well. Oh, 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 sometimes things don't come full circle.